to use it. That's nice. I shall make use of that more often now when it's uh, off cooldown. Hey, Relic, how's it going? That big chest of Lakeland, the kitchen store. Oh, is it what the hell? Is that just a really odd looking tree? I'm gonna I'm going to choose that, that is just an odd looking tree, not a tree loaded with human skins or anything. But yeah, I think it's just a very odd graphic. We got anyone through here? We've got some brawlers on the other side. Good oh hang on, some cash there. Can I not take that big stick? It would make an awesome club. We've got brawlers down there. I could maybe avoid them altogether. Um, have I come back? No, no. I think I'm pretty sure I need to go down there. So. Who am I going to try and ambush here? No one, because he's just turned around and Your seen me. Allowed. Damn. Damned and curses. Is there an upstairs to this place? Uh, I didn't come through there, did I? No. Oh, well, I'm going to have to fight them. Let's go kill them. Let's get the XP. If I wait till they turn around, I can sneak up and kill them. Or one of them. They're going to be two tough dudes. Come on, come on. We'll get this fella, this priest. It, it might have been a Slaneshi tree. It didn't look that way. With tentacles and everything. <laughs> Eat him! Followed by this. Oh, I've got to upgrade this. This is this is awesome. <laughs> and I still get shot in the face. Don't get trapped in there. I don't really want to do that. I want to get this other guy if I can. Claw them. Get him. Yes. I think I, I think I got stunned in them both there, actually. Oh, he's down. He's down. Right. God. I got clonked on the head by the bishop's staff. Right. That's more like it. <laughs> we did a bit better, I think, that time. It looked a bit scrappy still. Right, somewhere. And we think it's over here. The night shelter's vicinity. This is stable. Eat people. Eat people in the stable areas. We don't need them to be stable. Have we got anyone? Aha! There is... Let me go and do these posters first if I can. Anti-vampire poster. Stick five posters in the streets of the East End docks. Or burn all the posters. Well, there's an option. I could go and burn them all. We don't want anti-vampire posters, but do we? I think it would actually help me out if I, if I use these properly. If I go through there, though, that is going to be the end of... I'm going to have to come back the long way around to get here, I think. Let's see what I can loot this shelter. There's dinner in that bed. Remember that for later. It's locked, all right. It's locked. Ah, okay. Anything else to help myself to? Parts are always useful. Okay, explain. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. 
May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. <laughs> sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. Very judgmental. I think we need to eat her. I can eat her now. Um, I don't want to mesmerize her. I've got to get the right button here. Level two. Worth a thousand XP. Worth more if I can get these clues. Are you a trade union you activist? Speak of strikes and class enemy. Am I right to assume you're involved in trade union activism? You bet I am. Well, I was. Nowadays, I'm just another worker blacklisted by the big companies. Hmm. You lost your job because of your beliefs. Those bastards really hate a worker who refuses slave wages and unsafe conditions, especially when it's a woman. Don't think much has changed in a hundred years. Isn't the whole point of trade unions to help workers in need? Why don't they support you? A few nights <coughs> back, I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I stole it. What really happened? I drank too much that night. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Some sort of militia in uniform. I'm sure they robbed me. I think she wants me to go and get it back for the, from the militia. But it was just, you know, you got drunk whilst looking after a big wad of money. Of course you're going to get into trouble. Uh, what about this part of town? Can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what, just spend a few weeks here and then ask me that question again. If you're still alive, I mean. Do you know what? Do you know what? Every single person you meet in this game, with one or two exceptions, is just a miserable bastard who just has nothing but vile for you. It's just... Uh, they're just... Uh, they're not worth talking to. None of them. Not, there's not a single character that doesn't talk back in some sarcastic, arsy way as if you're a piece of filth. For whatever their world vision is, you are the antichrist of that vision. I think we just need to eat everyone. In fact, maybe I'll just do that and sod all these quests. If you have something to say... <laughs> okay, say see you, Pan. I'm getting tired of all this. Oh. You want information instead? Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. Very useful. Just, I just, no, I'm just not doing this anymore. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your Royal Highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pence. Goodbye. Well, that was useful. I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Let's go and find Sean Hampton. And then I might just eat. Everyone. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about no. you? Exactly. Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Oh, any relation to the... to the woman outside? I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. That's not terribly helpful. Do you need my medical attention, Miss Paxton? I'm fine, Dr. Reed. Keep your medicine for those who need it. Very good. He's worth a thousand. I could eat her as well. A couple of easy bits of XP here. Hint required. Your life in London. Oh, I just... Goodbye, these, ca these characters aren't particularly interesting. I'm not going to waste my time on them. I'm going to loot this night shelter. I'm going to find Sean Hampton. I'm not going to make the same mistake that I made with that other woman. Handwritten paper. Details. Dear Lord, this is my prayer for my beloved mother, Gertrude Paxton, now awaits her daughters in heaven. 
This is my prayer for my beloved mother, Gertrude Paxton, who now awaits her daughters in heaven. Wasn't that Gertrude Paxton outside? That was that someone else Paxton. Until that day, I thank you for allowing me to wake up and go through each new day in honest poverty and modesty. Please protect the good Mr. Hampton, who let us sleep in his night shelter. I humbly ask you to forgive me for the resentment I feel towards my sister, Giselle, since mother died. Blessed be her soul. Everyone hates everyone else. Everyone hates me. There's a new hint available for Lottie Paxton and Giselle Paxton. Come on, give me this. Let's get their XP Glad up before I eat them. Again, Mr. Reed. Never mind that. Lottie, tell me about the death of your mother. Giselle killed her, plain and simple. She killed her with her daily whims, her laziness, and her complaints. That's quite a statement. You can't kill someone because you're fickle. Mother was very ill, but I forgave Giselle. What I couldn't stand was how she cried at her funeral like she was the one left alone. I think they both need eating. <laughs> I think. Giselle is the only family you have left. Don't you think it's time you forgave her? Sometimes words are harder to forgive than acts, Dr. Reed. Perhaps your sister is not as tough as you are. I know that, and I don't blame her. It just makes me sad that my own sister is the person I understand the least. I think... Right, what I might do is finish the quests up here. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. And come back and just eat everybody all at once, because the, the place will descend into chaos. So I might as well... I might as well totally trash it. Harvest the XP and hope I never have to come back here for any reason. I think that's the plan. <laughs> I want to see what I end up looking like if I eat every character in the game. Who have we got down here? Anything? Anything to steal? An old newspaper. The bomb exploded just after dawn in the front of the Dawson and Dawson Munitions Factory, the largest employer in the district. The detonation smashed the windows of all the factories in North Southwark. It's a miracle only two people died in the attack, confirmed Chief, Chief Superintendent Alexander Brighton. Okay. It's locked, all right. Locked? I why that was stuffed in there. That one. It's locked, all right. Hmm. This place looks kind of curious. Soup kitchen. Oh. Oh, loads of stuff to loot. A foiled paper. Wait, what? Where'd that come up? It one of oh, a folded paper sorry forgive me god for what i'm about to confess sometimes i wish i never saved dyson delaney from drowning where he fell in the canal there i said it please forgive me i'm not reading out the rest of that we've got a hint on dyson delaney i don't even know where he is i think we could do a mass eating in one night that would be some insane experience do as many of these little hints as I can be bothered with and then come back and just eat all the characters. If you uh, may ask Mark, what is my, my all-time favourite game? That has since, well, since recently become The Witcher 3. Uh, it's a game I didn't expect to like all that much from what I'd seen other people play of it. But once I started playing, the gameplay is good. The story is amazing. I mean, it's amazingly well written. It's better scripted than most TV series and movies, well, certainly more than most movies. Uh, it's just really, really good. Um, fantastic value for money. Everything is so well thought out and so worked into that game. It's just wonderful. And with 36 potential different endings, it's got some replay value as well. So, yeah, I, I've come to really love that. And I, I've enjoyed it so much. I've bought all the Witcher books, seven of them. They come. I got them in a set. And I've bought Witcher 1 and 2, because I want to play through it just for the story. And uh, Witcher the Throne, is it Witcher Thronebreaker? I forget the name of it, it was in a, it was in a sale. It's, it's more Witcher games, but it's not quite like The Witcher, it's more like a strategy card game. Or an RPG card game, I think is probably the best way to describe it. So yes, Witcher 3, definitely. You got it? You've not played it yet? Oh, you are in for a treat. But at the start of the game, it throws quite a lot at you. There's a lot of 
tutorials, there's a lot of stuff that, a lot of information all at you all at once. And it's a little tricky to, to take in. And it doesn't matter because you can access the tutorials through the menu at any point in the game to, to figure out how to do things, crafting and stuff. But um, yeah, stick with it. The story will draw you in. Every little action, or it seems like every little action, as a consequence and every decision you make in every quest comes back at some point and uh, either bites you in the ass or rewards you depending on and what you've done in fact some quests there's no happy endings too it's just a really difficult choice so yeah it's, it's one of those there's, there's a lot there's a lot of thought gone into it more than i think i've seen in any other game ever so this guy is he's not on my map He's down. Oh, hang on. What the hell? Sean Hampton. Where is he? We found him. He wasn't here before, was he? 6,000 XP on this guy. He's covered in blood. Okay, something's gone on here. Hey, Joe, I'll get the TV series. Looks. Uh, well, there's the Polish TV series from 20 years ago. Then there's the Netflix TV series, which uh, I'm not expecting it to be as good as the game. So I'm not going to get too hyped for it because then I'll just be disappointed if it's if it doesn't live up. So I'm just going to take that as it is and see what it's like. It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it. But he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. You killed Harriet Jones. Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. He is a vampire. He is, he's just a vampire. I thought the story was going to be really clever and throw suspicion onto him and he wasn't going to be a vampire, but he is. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. So he knows I'm a vampire. But you How must drink happen? blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day, so saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh, no blood. What? So does that mean he eats dead people? I need to, I need to know what's going on here. You killed Harriet Why Jones. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke. The no, other three Harriet people was an that angry, I spiteful ate. woman. She was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. Look at his eyes. There's something going on with his eyes. They're not a natural colour. But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost. Separated from the fold, she did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. Not People convinced. have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the river bank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. Got the sewers key. Okay. I'm intrigued. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. We'll eat him. Um, let's get some information on this guy. Give a dog a bad name. Sean Hampton swears he did not kill anyone. To prove his innocence, he gave me a key to access the local source system. He says I'll find all the proof I need down there. He said he will wait for my return. Yes, 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 yes. What I want is this one. Tom Watts. Tom Watts is worth a lot of XP. I've got to go and see him about that gin. 
Giselle Paxton. Oh, that's Edwina Cox. She's worth a lot. Yeah. I need to get to Mesmerize level 5 and come and eat everyone in this place. I don't know if I can do that, though. Uh, hang on. There should be some more people here, aren't there? The docks. There's more people than that. Are these just the investigations? Here we go. He's worth nothing. Uh, who are we looking for? I could safely eat him, I think, because he's is not in a social circle. Those two, those were oh, seven thousand XP. Him, he's a pillar of the community. He's worth six thousand. I wonder. Right, come on then. I guess now we've found people here, we run off. I need to speak to that Giselle outside. There was someone stood out here before, and they've cleared off. I need a tent. It's locked. Is he a ghoul? He might be a ghoul. I can't protect the Don't know if such city. things exist. Who's this? Hard enough to cover the... Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. What are you doing here? Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Absolutely nothing whatsoever. No more clues, no more hints, okay. Goodbye. I'll go and do the and uh, good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. I'll go and do the posters for that guy. The what where's she gone? Is that her? Glad to see you again. No, that's the wrong one. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. It's her sister. Put this on, let's see if this helps. There she is. There's the old biddy. You again? What do you want? Come to talk to you about your dead mother. Giselle, <laughs> tell me about the death of your mother. After our father died, mother worked so hard she made herself sick. We spent all the money we had on useless drugs and doctors. It was hell. Hell? And that's why she doesn't what like do me. You mean? The three of us were exhausted and desperate. And when I'm desperate, I tend to get angry, and I'm hard to live with. Lottie said I killed Mother. Uh, Lottie did not mean it. You have a bad. T she has a bad temper. You should talk to your sister. You should talk to your sister. Whatever happened when your mother died, the truth lies somewhere between your two versions. I don't want to talk about that. It was years ago. We Paxton sisters are tough. We don't apologize. Apologize or get eaten. It's your choice. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Yeah, that wasn't exactly fruitful, was it? Night shelter vicinity. Okay, so where am I going? I've got to go and uh, put these posters up, which I think I'll do. And I think that'll lead me all the way around to the sewers. So let's, let's go and do that. The thing is, these, these little side quests, I don't feel inclined to do them, but they will benefit me if I decide to eat. Oh, hang on. Alright, so I've, I've burnt them. I thought this was putting the posters up. Uh, oops. Okay. <laughs> well, that's one way to do a side quest. Here's the man. Turn up smelling vaguely of smoke and Good ash. Evening, Mr. Throckmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Yeah, there was this, there was this guy burning some posters down there. Odd looking fella. I'm afraid your posters were destroyed. It cost me good money to print those posters. Such a pity people don't take the vampire menace seriously. Did you really think the posters would be useful? See the sad saint of the East End? How a single man can help so many people? I consider myself the discreet protector of these men and women. Well, I got the hint, I think. So that'll do. And why protecting the shelter? Tell me, Ichabod. Why do you consider yourself the protector of Sean Hampton's shelter? He is a truly inspiring example. Dedicated, pious. His shelter is open to all, whoever they are. Most admirable. Most admirable. Okay. Very good. 
no more clues. Goodbye. Okay, we're and done. Good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Right then, so now I guess we can just nip straight to that sewer entrance, right? There's no more investigations for this place. Um, bring the gin battles back to Tom. Lie to Tom and keep the gin. No, I need to take them back. Seek for Giselle Pax. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this one. Is it nearby? It's down there. Excellent. So that's exactly where I want to be. We're heading west. Ish. Can I get through this way? Or is this a dead end? Dead end? Dead end. What have we here? We'll go and beat up a few thieves. Go down into the sewers. Hand a couple of quests in. Come back and hand the gin in. Get everything done all at once. Is this locked? I cannot enter. Some of these doors and gates, and this gets a little bit annoying, they only open from one side, and then once you're through them, it's a way of exiting an area that's supposed to be zoned off, uh, but then you can't easily get back. Hey, Harmless. How's it going? Probably an arrow tosser. I haven't tossed an arrow in nearly two months. Last time I shot. I had a Pruin note. Oh, it won't be anything important. Are we done around here? I don't really want to spend too much time lurk lurking in the docks. Executioner. He's in me way, so let's get him. Uh, chomp. Oh, nom, 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 nom. nom. There we go. I <laughs> think we got him. Any doors? Anything? Someone see me? This could be the public house Giselle Paxton oh, mentioned. What the hell? I should investigate further. Oh, I need to. I need to. Ah! Just got there just just too late. Get back, beast. There we go. He's done. <laughs> oh, he got me a... What? Cheeky little stab in the back there. Oh, he's got that on, has he? That is so hard to avoid them shots. There we go. Let's give him a little nibble. It hurts, doesn't it, mate? It hurts. There we go. <laughs> Put him Giselle's out of his misery. Stolen money. Nice. Prewen has some unethical ways of financing their war. We shall go and sort that out afterwards. Right, and whilst I'm in this area, I think it's time to go down this sewer. Uh, 